You can't do this to me. Actually, by law, I have to. Miss Smith, you will receive a year in prison for allowing someone to get away with something serious. My daughter was given a concussion and could have been killed. It really wasn't my fault. I didn't mean to. Jennifer Smith, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you. As you can see. Now, Jennifer, it's up to my daughter whether she wants to press charges against you or not. What happens if she does? Jennifer Smith, you have committed a felony, a murder being the most serious crime of them all. If you didn't notice, officer, she's still very well alive. I just want to go now. You can't do this to me or my mom. Seeing as you did this purely out of anger and not in self-defense, we're going to have to go through with this. Obviously, I am aware that my daughter is very well alive, but this still qualifies as attempted murder. All right, all right. So what happens if Matilda presses charges? Then this will result in five to 15 years in prison. What? It wasn't even really attempted. Like you said, officer, it was simply out of anger. I couldn't control myself. You most certainly could have, Jennifer. That is so unfair. Why does my mom have to go through a year in prison and I have to go through five years? <clears throat> well, miss, seeing as your mother did not force you to commit murder, and she only allowed you to get away with murder, <clears throat> attempted murder, officer? Right. Technically speaking, your mother did not contribute to the attempted murder. As a result, while she will be receiving a year in prison for letting you get away with it, you on the other pod will receive 5 to 15 years in prison if Matilda chooses to press charges. You better hope you're lucky. We'll have her eye on you and just to make sure you don't get away, you will be going to an adoption center. An orphanage to be exact. Since your mother will not be able to take care of you, or the school, we must hire a new principal, and until then, this school is going to be completely empty. Am I correct? Yeah, whatever. This is so unfair. You can't do this to us. Think about my side of the story, what I had to go through. Jennifer, you caused all of this based on relationship drama. It is stupid. You students and your drama. It's not drama. I love Chris. He loves me. This is so unfair. Mom, you, you can't be going away. I love you so much. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. It's not your fault, honey. It's the officer's fault. Argue about whatever you please, ladies. Anything you say can and will be used against you. But she's my mom. I don't want her to get taken away. <laughs> Do you know how hard it's going to be to live without my own mother? <laughs> These pictures are so gross. I never knew Mindy was such a pervert. Look, there's the ugly doofus now. <laughs> First off, I'm not ugly. Second, I have something to say about those pictures. I'm not the one who took them. Uh, then who did take them? My ex-boyfriend. Wait, Gerald took those pictures? Are you two, like, gonna get married or something? Like, 
Dog, you're moving a little fast. No, not Gerald. And we broke up anyway. He's not my type, and he was getting too close to me. I'm talking about my other boyfriend in middle school. He sexually abused me and took pictures because he's a pervert. Cindy managed to get a hold of them, and she used me to her advantage. And she used my looks to gain popularity, and after that failed, she shared those pictures with the whole school, lying that I was a pervert and I took them. Trust me, whatever Cindy says, it's not true. And you can ask my friends if you don't believe me. <laughs> Dang. I guess Mindy's not the kind of girl we thought she was. Honey, there's no we between us. Get out of here, loser. You two do realize that you'd look a hundred times better with plastic surgery? Um, yeah, you're both ugly. And so are your hearts. Hmm. Thanks for proving our point, loser. <laughs> Eliza, please wait. There's a logical explanation for all of this. What the heck? What do you know? Matilda the loser decided to drop by. <laughs> oh, my dog. You're so rude. I, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I get some flipping manners. You're already ugly enough. Get off. I'm sorry. Ugh. My dog. People like you are so annoying. Loser. Dumb and ugly. ugly. My, My dog, dog, you're such a baby. baby. You should just accept reality already. No, no one even likes, likes you, so why don't you just go kill, kill yourself already? already. It's, not, it's like not like you actually matter. matter. <laughs> how, how dare, dare you ignore, ignore me? me? You're, you're ugly. You're, you're so, so fat when aliens, aliens saw you in space, they thought you were another planet. planet. You're so ugly when your mom dropped you off at school today, she got a fine for littering. No, no one cares, cares about you. you. You're, You're hideous. hideous. Maybe, Maybe you should draw a whole bunch of ugly and fat things, things all over the page. page. You, get you get an easy A on the project. Because, because those are what represent you. you. You're so, so ugly. ugly. Kill, Kill yourself. yourself. Not, Not like anyone, anyone will ever, ever care. When, when I was your age, I too was suffering from depression. depression. Are you kidding me? I'm not suffering from depression. Honey, you, you just, just said you wanted to drown in a tub. tub. But, but two great, great people named Elizabeth and Chris, Chris called us. But, 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 but I, I want, want to die. die. Ugh, I'm, I'm so, so hideous and fat. fat. Hopefully, Hopefully drinking juice, juice will help. Heh, <laughs> loser. Weak. Honestly, Honestly Matilda, Matilda, I was only using you this entire time to get my hose on some hot boys. If, if I, I ever find out you're dating Chris, Chris you're dead. dead. I could, I could seriously, seriously kill you like, like I almost did this one time. time. You, better you better watch out, out honey. I'm, I'm after you. you. But, but I, I wanted, wanted to die. die. I, wanted I wanted to drown. To drown. Why, Why didn't you let me drown? drown? True, True friends would let me drown. drown. I, I want to kill myself. myself. I, I hate, hate you, you so much! You, you make everything here miserable! Chris, I, I love you so, so much. much. Mm -hmm. Chris, Chris doesn't, doesn't even like, like you. you. What's going on with her? She looks really dizzy. Bro, I think we should help her. That squirrel and bunny are pretty mean. Uh, Matilda, are you okay? You, you slapped, slapped me across, across the face! face. You see, see, we, we just, just don't work, work out. out. I think, I think we, we should, should break, break up. up. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna miss you. you. <laughs> You can't, you can't blame, blame me. me. I'm not, I'm not stupid. stupid. Her, Her acting's, acting's really, really good. good. Not, not really. really. I, think I think you're just an idiot. An idiot. Why don't, Why don't you, you just wait politely for the gym teacher, teacher to get back? back? Uh, hello, Earth to Matilda? Uh. Come on, we have to go. If you're sure. Oh crap, I cannot afford to be tardy. Dude, you left your phone. And you guys left your iPad and your laptop. Oh, okay. 
You are, you are so, so disgusting, disgusting and hideous. hideous. <coughs> Matilda?